Hey, today at Dave's Nano Tanks, we're going to drill some holes. Uh, I'm going to drill some holes in this half inch glass for my overflow. It's so sunny out that I can't see, but I'm going to kind of point. Um, there's a circle here, and there's a circle here. I drew it with a Sharpie marker, and that's where I'm going to drill two holes. This is going to be the back of the tank. I'm going to put a weir in here to cover these two holes. And that will be the return on my tank, or the uh, overflow. And the water will overflow, dirty water, and go down to the sump. You guys know how that works. All right, here's my trusty RO water. You're going to be running water and wasting it. You might as well make some RO while you're doing it. Just got some clamps here so I don't have to chase the thing around the table. So once it gets wet, even though it's a very heavy piece of glass, it tends to shift around on me a lot. Now I will have the water aimed right at the hole, but I noticed it started to take the Sharpie marker away. So, um, can't have that. Over here I just have a cordless drill and uh, I have a very cheap eBay bit on it. And what you want to do is slowly turn your bit, make sure it's not wobbling, you know, on the end of the drill bit like that. If it is, you're going to want to try and straighten it because you really don't want something hopping around on the glass. Also, the other thing is, uh, let's see, how can I do this without the tripod? Um, if your drill has a clutch on it, which is usually used for like setting screws so you don't drive the screw too deep, I would suggest going on the lightest setting so that you can hold it and, um, in other words, you could hold the drill back and engage the clutch. This is useful on thinner glass if it binds in the hole at all you could break the glass on thicker glass you're not going to bend or break the glass but if it binds you could twist the actual drill bit and then you've got a bent drill bit and you can't finish your hole so either way um, there shouldn't be any binding but if there is why not have the clutch engage when it does it's one of my tricks and i haven't heard of anybody mentioning it so thought i would and this is what I mean by having a um, clutch on your drill. If it were to bind, the drill won't move. So, just a little plus that I do. So, uh, let's drill. So, if you've never drilled glass before, a lot of these kits like Glass Holes, which I love the name of their company, they'll sell you um, the overflow, the, the hole saw, the bulkheads, and they'll even sell you a template that you can clamp on here and it'll keep the drill bit right where you want it. Um, I know I usually don't use one and sometimes I get a little dancing around in the beginning but once you cut a groove you pretty much have a template. So uh, I'm gonna probably block this. But I start on a slight angle So I've started to drill this hole. I've got it um, good enough that it'll guide me. You'll notice the drill moving a little bit. That's because the drill is a little out of round, but not enough to worry about. The, the other thing is pressure. I just use the weight of the drill. I'm really not pushing down on it. And you can go very slow, especially the first time you're drilling a hole. It can go very, very slow. It just takes longer. You don't want to go very fast. Because even though you have the water on here, you can heat up the glass, and that's going to do two things. It could make your glass break, and it could make your bit overheat. Once your bit overheats, it's kind of all over, because this uh, diamond dust will become loose and fall off the metal. And then you'll just be trying to drill glass with a piece of metal, and that's not going to work. 
I sped this up to about eight times speed, so spare you a lot of the noise. And you know, who wants to watch six minutes of hole drilling per hole? Um, I tried to keep the drill square so that I didn't drill it the hole into the glass on an angle so the bulkhead will sit square and seal better. Um, and in a little few minutes you'll see that it does cut through and the water will start to drip. It doesn't cut it out perfectly all at once. But it did make through both holes on one battery. I was very surprised and I think it came out great. That drill bit was two drill bits for nine dollars on eBay. So and it drilled both holes, no problem.